Hey everyone, just wanted to do a little epilogue on this video about the windmills. Just as I was about finished with the video, putting it together, we decided to take a little hike to the radio towers that are to the north and above the windmills. I'm hoping that you can see the windmills behind me there. This is an absolute must hike uh, for anyone visiting Loha. If you want to go for a hike and get a bird's eye view of the city, of the windmills without renting a helicopter. It's about an hour's hike from the highway if you go straight up. I would say round trip if you're going to spend some time, minimum of two hours, maybe a bit more for the drive up from Loha. Anyway, I'm going to try and put together a little video of this hike with some still photos, etc. But I thought you would enjoy some of the excellent views of the windmills from up here. Anyways, until next time, Talk to you later on Passion for Life Gallery. The entrance to the towers is just west of the windmills. If you keep an eye out for this small altar, you can't miss it. While it is possible to drive about halfway up to the towers, we chose to park the car near the bottom and walk up. Besides which, there are so many interesting things to see on the way up and of course, we do need the exercise. Altogether, it is about 3.5 kilometers or 2.2 miles to the radio tower with an elevation of 265 meters or 870 feet from the highway. So that's about a 7% grade on average. As you can see from these photos, there is a good reason why it is not possible to drive to the top at this time. Heavy rains earlier in the year caused a number of landslides all along the route. Some are worse than others. The largest began near the top of the mountain and continued all the way down onto the highway and beyond. It was in fact one of these landslides that you can see us crossing at the beginning of this video. Despite this, it is possible to walk or ride a motorcycle around or over all of these obstructions. Just use caution and watch for falling debris. As you can see in these photos, the views of the Catamayo Valley and the windmills are awesome. At one point, you will be right on top of the northernmost wind turbine. A spectacular view indeed. Although the terrain was very dry for the most part, we did notice that it became a lot wetter in the shadow of the mountain. There was also a noticeable change in the type of vegetation. We were happy to see that there was also very little wind on the western side of the mountain. As you turn the corner near the windmills, however, there is an abrupt change in the intensity of the wind. In fact, we would advise against taking this hike if it is really windy. It can also be very cold, so you will want to pack a warm jacket and a hat of some kind. After you turn the corner, the city of Loha comes into view with some spectacular vistas, as you can see from these photos. If you make the climb to the more remote tower pictured here, there is a 360 degree view 
of both valleys. An old communication facility sits atop the hill. It seems to be in a state of disrepair, but may still be functioning. If you do visit, just remember that this is private property and you will want to respect that. As you can see in these remaining photos, we encountered some very interesting plants, both on the way up and at the top. Some, in fact, may only grow at these altitudes. So we hope you have enjoyed taking this hike with us. If you get the chance to make it yourself, you will find that it is well worth the effort. If you would like to support this channel, hit the like button and share this video with someone whom you feel would enjoy it. And if you have not yet done so, please subscribe. Until next time, this is Passion for Life Gallery. Thanks very much for watching.